What's up, fellow junkies, and welcome to the Horror Junkies 509. I'm here today to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And man, you guys, I have been racking my brain all day on just what to do for this video. Thanksgiving, man, it does not have a good representation for horror movies or anything. Like, it's just, I'm dry as far as anything I can even think of. Unless you want to watch... Don't feel bad, you guys. Boobs in the first second, yeah, it's what draw it what drew me in as well. I bought that movie, watched it, hated it, sold it back. But it's one of those movies I think I should have held on to just because I think I should have given it another chance. Yeah, it was completely bogus and just low budget crap. But I mean, you know, it's good to have those movies every now and then. But you know what I'm gonna do for today? I am gonna do a video on some movies I think that brings the family together. Now, I'm not saying that these movies should be watched with every member of the family. No. I'm just saying these are family-oriented movies. Maybe they're not the most n normal family or, you know, whatever. But, you know, they're a family nevertheless. And that's important because family is important. Thanksgiving brings families together. So, like I said, these movies are not to be watched with every member of the family. But, you know what? If you're looking for something for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving brings families to together, whether they're conventional or not. So I'm going to get right into this, you guys, show you some things, uh, what could be potentially watched. I mean, it's all, really all up to you, but, you know, here's some ideas. First and foremost, this movie's all, these mov this franchise is all about family, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Yep, we got the first one. And you guys, honestly, if you guys think I'm crazy, I mean, you guys need to watch them again, because this, this series is all about... Family sticking together through killing people and eating them and keep on moving. Because, you know, you know, families live together, survive together, eat together, whatever. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, Leatherface. The, it says right on, the saw is family, you guys. Need I say any more about that? Going on to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation. Awful. But, you know, it's still all about family. In every one of these movies, you guys, it's prevalent that families together. You know, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, great prequel. I don't know why they're making trying to make a Leatherface show or movie. I mean, I feel like they already did a prequel, but whatever. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. One of my favorite remakes of all time. And you guys, as I go through these, it's very prevalent. It's family is very important in all these movies. And then one of my new favorite, the Texas Chainsaw. Uh, not a lot of people are crazy about this movie, but I freaking loved it. To death. And that's not all, you guys. I got more. Like I said, there's nothing's going to be really Thanksgiving. I mean, I got one that I'm, I'm saving for the gory details called Home Sweet Home. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it's... I literally went on eBay, typed in Thanksgiving Slashers. This is what I have to bring myself to to get a Thanksgiving horror movie. So hopefully um, I'm going to get that and hopefully we're, later tonight me and Jeff will do uh, gory details with that because it's pretty much all I got. Because I don't think I'm buying Things Killing again. And if I do, party on. It's not going to be, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. Alright guys, like I said, not all these movies are going to be conventional families. But I mean, the Hills of Ice franchise, I don't know if these are all just inbreeded together or if they're just all met up together. Hey, we're all weirdos and freaks. Let's be family. Whatever. But I mean, it's very family oriented. If you guys haven't seen them, I definitely recommend them. The originals, the remakes, Hills of Eyes 1, 2, and the remakes, Hills of Eyes 1 and 2. Just know that both of the second ones are not that great. That's all I can really... Yeah. But I mean, you know, you got your, your different kinds of families. We've got the Leatherface family, which is more... A little more conventional. I think they're probably inbreeders as well. But, you know, they have the home. They got their... The, they eat together. They live together. They kill together. You know, that's very conventional. I can respect that. Wait, what? Um, let's hope my family doesn't watch this video. But, I mean, with the Hills of Eyes, I mean, I definitely don't think they're all blood. And if they are, that's definitely inbreeders. All right, guys. But let's get to more conventional stuff, sort of. I mean, you know, something very important in a family is a father. And it shows true with these movies. Stepfather. I mean, the most important thing to him is having... A great family, him him being respected as a as stepfather. The stepfathers, I mean, definitely br can bring the family together because you know he, it's all he's trying to do is have a family. 
And then go right along with Stepfather 2. Family doesn't go as far in this one. But, I mean, you guys... I'm, I'm, I'm really scratching the bottom of the barrel here. Because, you know, I... There's no Thanksgiving horror. I mean, everything I'm brought here is family. That's basically all I can think of. I mean, next month is going to be great. Because there's tons of Christmas horror. But, Thanksgiving gets no respect. So, another one of you guys that I'm going to bring in for the family. The original Amityville horror. I mean, this family moves into a new house, gets haunted together, moves out together, people get killed, all that good stuff, you guys. Family's got to do everything together, whether you're getting brutally murdered or haunted, whatever. And this is going to be my last one, you guys. This is probably, this is my top one as far as family, because once you see this, you know exactly what I'm talking about, because family's important, no matter the age. No matter the age, okay, you guys? And that's going to be American Gothic. Sorry, I wanted to say American Psycho. I must be tired still. I'm a graveyarder that's on day shift now. But American Psycho, or American Gothics. I need to go back to bed. But I want to eat. Yeah, screw sleep. American Gothic, you guys. This is so family-oriented. I mean, like I said, age, has, age is only a number, right? If you guys haven't seen this movie, definitely check it out. Expect it to be weird, but the first time I ever watched this movie, it's now one of my favorite movies of all time. And that's what I got for you guys as far as family. You guys, family-oriented or movies for the holidays, for Thanksgiving at least, because next month, like I said, there's tons of Christmas horror movies, slashers, everything. And we're getting a new one. If you guys haven't checked it out, check, it out, check out the trailers for Krampus. So stoked for that movie, but you guys, a little something a little unhorror related Man, I'm ready for this day to be over because I'm going to go see Creed. I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan, you guys, so I'm going to be first in line in, in that thing. I'm so stoked. Sylvester Stallone's my favorite actor, so you guys, I'm going to be watching Creed, another Rocky movie, tonight. Not much of a family movie, I guess, because pretty much Rocky's all, his whole family's gone. Whatever. But you guys, so that's a little something I can give you. A little slice of my family-oriented thanks, potential Thanksgiving movies to watch. Uh, I'm the Horror Junkies 509. If you guys haven't checked out anything, um, any other stuff on my channel, check out the gory details. I do a show with my buddy Jeff. If you guys have time, like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear some feedback from you guys. If you guys got something, something to tell me, I mean, I'm definitely willing to uh, change some things or add some things. Uh, I'm here. I'm here to appease to you guys because you guys are the viewing audience. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, on the gory details, you guys. Horror Junkies 509 signing out.